how's it going folks and welcome back to Reich's Land in Victoria 2. Now where we last left off we just got out of this massive war in Asia with huge gains. We managed to snag up Jing Zhang and also annex Korea creating more territory and more pop for our Manchuria or outer Manchuria uh, colony out here. Now uh, currently it seems that one of the plans initially is working Ch the Chinese collapse as you can see we have reactionaries let's see do they have them in Beijing they don't have them in Beijing but there's one outside of Beijing right now and China does have like 18 um, brigades out so they could uh, very well manage to do this but since uh, the population for these uh, rebel units is usually enormous I hope it brings about the collapse of the Chinese Empire which will you know, leave Tibet open for us to snag up. And that will be great because this will connect uh, German Asia with German Burma. And we could have like a land bridge to swiftly move troops around and bring civilization to this godless territory. Uh, another thing, I do want to move into the Indian subcontinent, but that's going to require a war with Great Britain. And we just need to like, hopefully just stick around until like a crisis war occurs, which is our biggest situation. Okay, looks like we are buying up artillery. All right, we've been discredited in Slovenia Piedmont by Russia, of course. And it seems that the plan kind of worked. All right, uh, let's drop out of Slovenia Piedmont. I'm gonna put in a lot of stock in Sweden because it looks like the other powers uh, discredited each other. So that'll help us. And we're going to move you guys over here to the Russian border because it looks like the Russians are building up units next to us. And that is not nice. Let's also continue to build some more German guards. That's four. Let's just build some guard units right here and, you know, prepare to ship them over. I am going to keep you guys right here. You're doing pretty good for yourself. See, what's the Russian military tech looking like? They're at 13. We still have the tech advantage. Let's look at France. And we still have the tech advantage over here. Great. So we still are the most militarily superior nation in Europe. That's what I like to see. I also want to begin to fortify our border down here with the Ottomans in case anything, um, you know, anything goes. <laughs> so we just want to, you know, make sure our vast territories are safe from intervention. Now, Persia, Persia would be a great nation to take over, but like, you know, we can't have them holy and also they just civilize, so we can't, uh, you know, just outright annex them as we could in the past. Yes, all right, so these new units gonna be made down here, excellent. Uh, our factories are doing quite well for themselves. Right. And it seems our capitalists are being enterprising. On the infantry unit, how are you guys looking? You guys are looking fine. Y'all are looking fine. All right, I guess I'm gonna ship you guys over to the unit in the Korean Peninsula because why not? All right, and Right now, our colonial expansion is going along just nicely. Even though the large part of the colonial uh, game is over with like the scramble for Africa and like uh, Micronesia and Polynesia is pretty much done, we can still expand outwards uh, into Asia a little bit, which is seemingly gonna be like a good plan. Let's see you guys this part have you guys all gather up yeah it looks like some Chinese rebels are doing their thing out here actually this is to get eyes on I want you guys to go out to Korea Bay see what's going on over here yeah rebels 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 this is a lot probably more so than the Chinese can handle right now. They are building units, but, uh, ooh, crisis, crisis. 
Are any powers interested? Alright, Spain decided to back Poland. And let's say we're interested. And wow, damn. Uh, Netherlands was quick on that. Russian Empire. The Russian Empire. Okay, this will be uh, truly a battle of Leviathans. We do have... Let me check the Ottomans' relations real quick on the world stage. They hate Russia. They like me more. They hate France, and they kind of have an opinion on the United Kingdom. UK, on the other hand, doesn't really like me. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna support Spain because Spain has been my noble ally for the most part of this game. All right, so. This truly might be the war to end all wars. <laughs> Spain doesn't have, like, Spain, ugh, the stupid thing is, is because, like, since I have cores on Poland, that's the reason why it's not, like, asking me to, like, you know, ask to liberate Poland because it wouldn't make sense. I have cores on Poland. But since Poland will exist, uh, I don't have a problem with them if they have this garbage territory. Well, it's not really garbage, but... If they have this territory, I won't be like, you know, you know, threatened by Poland too much. Uh, what is this ad for Wickholsby? Oh, Mezowicki. We could actually, like, they'll ask for this, we could ask for this, and possibly uh, move into the Indian subcontinent, which is what I want. But here's the thing, we're gonna be facing, uh, it's pretty much going to be Spain, Portugal, and me against France, the UK, and Russia, and the Ottoman Empire. I'm Since I'm going to be the war leader, I won't be able to have my allies called in. So this is going to be a war where I am going to be carrying, like, don't get me wrong. I carry, like, these goddamn things constantly, but this is going to be a war where I'm going to be, like, doing the most amount of work in. Ugh. This is terrible. And my forts here aren't really like in tip top shape. And I'm not really 100% prepared for this. Well, I'm, I'm prepared for war. I'm just not 100% prepared for a war of this magnitude in Europe. Because um, some of my southern territories are open right now. And... Yeah. Okay, it seems that I, I do have a prayer. My whole option is for me to aggressively get into the Ottoman Empire's territory and try to piece them out. Same thing with the Netherlands. I could like instantly get over here. My main goal would then have to be to blockade the British Navy from getting here, which is easier said than done. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to orient you guys over here. You guys are going to be on the defensive for this territory. Up here, uh, only Russia, Russia can cross in from right here and here. Uh, they have good relations with Mongolia and Manchuria, so this means they'll probably be able to get military access to go around. Not good at all. All right, so this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Let's get you guys back to Europe and you guys just make a beeline back over here and Ironclads. Let's get some ironclads up and running. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna focus on naval techs because we are gonna definitely gonna need that. All right, the only like thing I'm proud about is that we have a ton of uh what movements? There's not really any like Old age security. It's like only 76,000 people. They're gonna revolt over that. They could go piss off. 
We're gonna keep going for healthcare because population boost, population boost. All right, and right now, because the situation is um, dangerous, as they would say, we are going to, uh, set up some more units. All right, you guys will be decent. Uh, you guys over here and then try to set up another army down here. Denmark, okay, I really don't have to worry about an invasion through Sweden and Denmark because they are my allies, so I don't have to worry about this border right here. I do have to worry about the Netherlands and France. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, uh, how these guys are still being forged. You guys gotta hurry up. Dude, we gotta like crank out our military production like crazy. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to go for some of these naval tech. All right, so what we're gonna do, we are gonna go for you right now. Let's go for weapons platforms. Try to get like some of these out of the way because we have to like build up our military. Boxer Rebellion in China. Uh, oh wait, China broke. Ugh, God damn it. Ugh. God damn it. Uh We still have a truce with them, so until 1894. Uh China basically fell apart and I don't really want anything from them. So Damn it. Uh Go pick up these guys from over here. You guys are still making your way up there. Lines off from Gungshi. Okay, Gungshi. Let's reforge uh, friendlier relations. Since the Chinese Empire fell, they are going to... Many of their subsidies need a new patron. Africa is going to be mainly fucked. Africa is going to fall because I have no units over here. Uh, I... How many? Okay. There's still a chance I could, like, build up a decent force. There's nobody down here. It's mostly over here. All right. So I could try to build a be decent African force. So let's try to do that. All right. It won't be much, but it'll be better than nothing. Let's try to get some units up and running over here. Just purchase everything off the market. Go. Right now we're gonna go to military build up. This is actually to a point where I think it'll be militarily viable for me to mobilize. If I fully mobilize um, before this war, I could easily blitz in through Ottoman territory and like, you know, finish them off. Okay. Uh... Or then Shili. Yeah. Any nation right now am I willing to part with? This, if I release them, this will fuck up our naval uh, group. Zanzibar, I could possibly part with them. Ah, that's all. Same thing with Korea. Middle East Kashmir.
we're gonna I'm gonna release Zanzibar. As you can see, that already like just by itself, that because that was like two naval ports, like right here and here. Um, these are still that one's still expanding. The ones in Korea are gonna take a while to finish anyway. I'm willing to be over the limit because uh, our economy is so robust we can like handle it. Uh, this one is still being made. What about Easter Island? That one's still good. All right. One hundred seventy-four days. Cut Spain down to size. Oh, Xinjiang is their core. Um, let's also buy up some cement. I am going to. I'm going to just buy up a whole lot of stuff that um, most of our things need. Uh, let's just buy up that buy up this and buy up like a ton of timber right now just go for it we need this enact women's suffrage okay so we can do this now so let's go for it the idea of women's suffrage increasingly gained traction in Western society throughout the 19th century, first advocated in the writings of early liberal philosophers such as England's Mary Wollstonecraft or John Stuart Mill. The idea and ideology of women's suffrage gradually developed as the century wore on into a coherent ideology in its own right. Feminism. Oh, feminism. <laughs> I thought that was the beginning of a different thing. The experience during the First World War of women working in factories and other jobs previously reserved for men during peacetime is often said to have been a crucial pivot point in securing women's right to work, vote, and in other fields of society achieve legal equality with men. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. All right, and we are going to have to look like at prohibition. All right, oh, that's terrible. Uh. You guys pick this unit up and get dropped off over here. You guys, I guess, could link up with this unit. I am going to try to ship these guys over to this territory so they could begin preparations for uh, invasion. Let me drop out of Sweden and see if that'll cause any of the other powers. Just let me do this real quick, see if that'll cause them to battle each other out. Alright, you guys head over here. The naval bases here are still expanding. You guys should be ready to move. Um, you guys just defend these territories over here. And what you guys are gonna do, you guys are gonna go over, drop off over here. And... Okay, let me see. Yoruba stays, da 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 da. Alright, so they did do what I thought they were going to do. Let's just try to keep them out. Okay, uh... Let me go back to trade screen and let me like automate this again. Automate this. Automate this. Uh, we're going to keep the military goods um, purchase, like full purchase these stockpile because we need the soldiers as quickly as possible. Also, uh... Where is the other thing? Or steamer convoys. Let's purchase up a shit ton of steamers. Real quick. Alright, that's done. Alright, so... Due to the sheer magnitude of this war, 
And the fact that I am not certain, like, I, I mean, like, you know, I am, like, don't get me wrong. I am completely certain I could easily take all these nations on alone, especially, like, Russia over here. But it's just, like, look at these. This gap in my defenses that I am worried about. And so, what I'm going to do is once this army up here is fully materialized and done, I'm going to begin the mobilization. Just, uh... 108 days. Let me see. Uh, two shows, two shows. Da, 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 da. Wine and liquor. We need to buy wine and liquor. You guys have to be drunk out here on the battlefield. Here, buy up the liquor and buy up all the wine. Come on, get drunk, man. Have at you. Hey, just purchase all the wine and liquor out there. And then Hejaz has rebels. Intervene. All right, so I believe that should be all the wine and liquor that was needed. Yes, yeah, so we could go back to that. And I believe it is now properly time to do this. What I'm gonna do is initialize a mobilization. Our armed forces, mobilize our armed forces and we will soon be able to build a strong army. This however will be seen as a threatening move to our potential enemies. Well, of course, because they brought it to this uh, damn point. We can mobilize 504 brigades. All right. What's this order? Also, I never really looked at this over here. Military tactics, organization gain, supply consumption, uh, war exhaustion. Huh, huh, neat. This is neat to look at. Look at, uh, I'll probably look into that more later. All right, so. We're beginning the beginning first phases of our total mobilization because this is something we are gonna have to worry about. Right now, I want you guys to move over to this side. You guys are gonna have to deal with the Netherlands as swiftly as possible. You guys just provide rear guard support for these units and what you guys are gonna do, you're gonna have to try to blitz through this line. I want you to get over here so you can attack that. We're gonna try to like uh, ping pong these armies. All right, you guys are all strapped up, ready to go. Let's get you guys all the position. All right. So right now we're beginning the first phases of our mobilization. Till October 1889. Since we're about to go to war with them, we could try to see if we could snag something if I could be quick about it. Oh shit! I just uh, thought about that. Uh, they'll be able to evade through here. Uh, damn, all this like territory um, we're gonna have to defend. All right. Uh, oh yeah, I totally forgot. We don't need you guys, like all of you guys over here. All right. Um. You guys get over here. What we're gonna do is start picking you guys up and shipping you over to this territory. All right, uh, the African troops are rushing over. All right, what I'm gonna do, you guys all break off into a different unit. You guys hide over uh, here. And what you guys are going to do, you're going to help defend the Reich. You guys are going to help uh, invade the Ottoman Empire. We are mobilizing right now. All right. You guys rush over down here.
the mobilization of the right has begun and this war is about to kick off soon damn it took you guys this long to get over here if need be i will abandon uh Zheng Zheng for a little bit uh you guys get up here and defend against the british you guys move over here try to get to these units uh, it's gonna be too little too late at this point the Chinese Empire has a revolution okay uh, let's try to get the Brits so let's try to blockade the Brits in you guys are gonna have to loop around and try to get up to here actually though no. try to get over there to the Ottomans let's get some preparatory work done uh, this unit in Suez is kind of trapped over here. Let's try to pair relations with you, Egypt. Um, I'm going to have to abandon West Africa. And you guys are over here. The Chinese Empire is about to get fucked. Oh, yeah. Try to get up there quickly. Um, how's this mobilization group looking? All right, uh, you guys belong to this other unit. I'm gonna send you guys up to here, and what you guys are gonna do? Provide rear guard support for these guys. Actually, you're gonna help assist the invasion of the Netherlands. All right, and. I'm gonna get over there. All right, the war is, so it looks like they're trying to get in an invasion. Hopefully you guys are ready for that. All right, mission, Blitzkrieg, Blitzkrieg. All right, you guys get over here, try to evade this. All right, what you guys are gonna do, we're gonna have to crush these uh, Russians like there's no tomorrow. Make sure they fear us. You guys cross in over there. All right, looks like the Russians may be trying to break through over there. You guys just hang out over here, just defend this territory. And where is this uh, boat at? Okay, they're still on their way over. Let's, let's begin this battle. Uh, yeah, I forgot about this uh, attack on the Ottomans. Let's get over here. Let's begin these sieges. We have to, like, you know, break their initiative. We we have to maintain on the offensive right here. Get over here to the Straits of Dover. Right now, I am going to fund Spain's war effort. And... Right now, we're not going to give them an inch. Guess you guys stay over here. Where in the hell did our other fleet go? Okay, this... Oh, you guys were over here this whole time. Alright, and you guys are going to blockade over here so the Ottomans can't directly cross into the territory. Alright, first things first, we got to get the Netherlands out of this war. All right, and it's going to be like the war's not going well enough, of course. I want to try to see if we can add in a war goal over there. All right. It looks like the Brits are going to try to cross into our territory right here. I could try to juggle them, but I don't know how successful that's going to be. All right, uh... Do, 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 do. What are you guys gonna do? You're just gonna stay right there. Okay. That's fine by me. Um you guys just make it to the Horn of Africa if you can. Go, Zanzibar, you'll be fine because you're not in this conflict. And right now looks like this battle. Can I get military access through you? No. All right, 
there goes my alarm. But it looks like there's like the French are gonna try to get in through Sardinia Piedmont, and they're gonna be able to get around through Parma. Um, that's kind of eh, but we will manage. All right, and you guys get up to here and go take over Verdun. You guys belong to this unit over here. So you guys merge up with them. And what you're gonna do, help uh, the invasion out. Your job, you're gonna have to kill these Russians and we're gonna send, actually, you guys are gonna come over here and help defend this territory out. All right, so I'm gonna end this episode off right here and we are now in the throes of what's gonna be our greatest war. It Fucking Spain couldn't even get Portugal to join. God damn. Well, technically, I don't even think this is a great war. We got until October to add a war goal, so I'm not too worried. So right now, this is going to be the massive undertaking for Germany. The Reich is on a war on all fronts. Well, except the North. But that's because they're friendly with us. Wait a minute. Yeah, they can't cross over here, so that's good. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more. And when we return, we shall we shall go for the Spanish War of Polish Liberation. Man, we are just combined against the military might of Europe right now. So I hope to see you guys again soon. This is Solo Supreme, and have a great day. Now this one is pure niceness.